Hello, today we're going to be talking about how to create a Windows 10 under 10 answer file and the settings that you need to have configured for the basic setting and you know a slight overview of what these different settings are and how to import the install WIM file and um, things that you need to know. So with that, let's just get started. So um, first thing you need to do is uh, on a Windows 10 machine, if you're going to be creating a Windows 10 answer file is to uh, install the ADK, which is the Windows 10 ADK, and the only option that you need to select are called Deployment Tools, which will then install the Windows System Image Manager. So what I've done here is I have imported the install.wim file from the ISO file. So basically what you need to do is you need to extract all of the, all of the contents from the ISO file into the, uh, the folder somewhere, and I just called it Windows 10 English 64-bit because I'm doing a 64-bit version. So when you pull in that install.wim, you'll, uh, you'll see that it's all Windows 64-bit, and you'll see all of the different uh, components and settings. You'll also see packages here as well. So the quick overview, so if I right-click on this, you'll see that there's seven options here. One is called Pass 1 PE. These settings are used by the Windows, Windows Setup installation program. If you're going to modify existing images, you can usually ignore these settings. Um, the um, specialized area, um, uh, most settings should be added here, which is where you do the general uh, adding here. These settings are triggered both at the beginning of the audit mode and at the and at the beginning of the OOBE. Uh, if you need to make multiple updates to test settings, generalize the device again and add another batch of settings to specialized configuration path. Um, the audit user uh, runs as soon as you start the audit mode. Um, now the seven, which is the uh, use spar sparingly, most of these settings run after you, after the user completes the OOBE. Um, the exception is that the Microsoft Windows deployment reseal mode audit setting, which you will use the bypass OOBE and boot the PC into the audit mode. Now, if your script um, relies on know, knowing the, which language the user selects during the OOBE, you, you can add it into the OOBE system path. So again, that's a whole other topic, but I just wanted to throw that out um, in here. Um, these, settings could be, uh, these settings could be lost if the user resets their PC with the built-in recovery tool. I just keep that in mind as a note to see how to keep, make sure these settings are, and this, again, you can do a, a simple script that kind of confirms that. Um, so there's some areas here. So if you look at, um, so, these, so these are the areas that will mostly be um, tweaking and the areas that we'll be using to create this answer file. Now, um, now to create and modify an answer file, uh, so basically you want to create a catalog file. So, so right now we've got the Windows System Im Image Manager launch. You want to click um, select Windows Image, which we kind of already did right here. And then what you want to do, so it brings up this now troubleshooting tip here. Um, if, 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 if Windows Sim does not create the catalog file, try following this step. To so create a catalog file with either a 32-bit ARM-based device or 64-bit. So it just depends on the type of architecture you're pulling, so make sure you have that on there. So it's just a little side note. So now we want to create an answer file. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say new answer file. So we're going to call it a new answer file. So by doing that, it brings in these, these components right here. The WinPE, the offline, the generalized, specialized, audit systems, that kind of stuff. So this is it. So this is from your CD. And by creating new answer file, it brings in the answer file components here. Right now, it's, I don't have it saved, so it's just an answer file. So then, if you want to add the new answer file settings, we're going to do a simple. Um, we're going to do a simple stuff here. So let's go through and um, we need to take a moment to figure out what settings I want to tweak here for this demo. I'll be right back. Here's a common one. If you go down to um, Go down here, uh, Windows, Microsoft Shell setup. 
if you like, if you expand this, you'll see all of the different components that you can tweak your OEM information if you wanted to do this. Um, so basically what you do is you right click here and you go password generalize and this is where you would set up all your information like OEM name. So this give me so if I wanted to um, exactly if I wanted to like uh, put product key, if I wanted to put the product key in here, I can uh, registration owner. The company name, time zone, let's just say I want to do Pacific Standard Time. For this particular um, sign in, uh, you want to show, let's see, uh, faults. If you want to show Windows Live, uh, show power button, yes, we do. So you can do all kinds of stuff in here. Uh, product key, like if you want to do the product key, uh, OEM name, like the name of the OEM file. Uh, what have you, um, let's see, uh, Bluetooth stuff, computer name, I leave that blank. Uh, so let's go to the OEM information, for example. Uh, let's say I want to do manufacturer, I can do manufacturer equals, um, you know, whatever, I type whatever I want in there, you know, model, whatever model, model one, something like that. Um, Support hours, if I wanted to put, uh, or a logo, or maybe you want to put a support URL, like if you have a support uh, URL link, you want to provide a start tiles, like if you wanted to do any like anything with the lock screen or um, any other theme, maybe you have a theme that you want to have pass through, uh, or if you wanted to do like an auto log, maybe, maybe this is a system that's going to auto log in, what have you, um, or again, um, and then back into that OEM information, there's also a logo. Like if you have a logo, you can put the logo file in there. Like maybe it's a um, C, um, um, logo.bmp. I'm just, these are, I'm just not really typing. I'm just letting you know some of the things that you can change here. Um, now, again, if you want to do a maximum pixels uh, in the answer file, you want to make sure that you set it up for uh, 120 by 120 pixels and save it as a BMP file to so just keep that in mind. And then you want to keep the um, that bitmap in your configure set o dollar sign OEM dollar sign dollar sign dollar sign slash system 32 OEM slash and then that's your bitmap file. Uh, and then we'll copy the logo there in that um, th that location. Uh, you can set the devices automatically, boot to auto mo audit mode. Um, in the Windows Image Pane, in expand the components deployment version. So if you go to, um, let's go in here, like I said, and then we go over here, and let's do um, deployment version. Let's see, fine. And these are in alphabetical order right here. And then we want to add this to the 7. And then you can have like the partition uh, settings in here where you can, you know, in the answer file select uh, and then with the, like for example, I'm going to do the reseal and then settings and put equal audit. So if you go to settings, you can do audit mode right here. You can select audit mode or ODBC. And then you can do a script that you know runs after the audit begins, what have you. And again, you can have another uh, like deployment for past audit user. So you can come in here, audit user. So depending on what you're trying to do with this image, so I'm just kind of just browsing through like some of the stuff that I want to do here uh, as an example, um, in terms of like you want to run a command here. Uh, let's see, on a command, so you want to run that. And so then if you want to run a command to type something, you would probably put in the path name, what have you, uh, the location of the path. And here I would put a sample command.com here, um, depending on what you want to do. And you put a description in there. If you wanted to add a registry key, um, other stuff. Now, when you're done with all of your stuff, let's say this is, I'm done with all this, but again, there's a ton of information. There's a ton of settings to go through. I mean, look at this. You've got all of this, to, you know, like all the different things, like DNS client is a common one. Um, 
the um, let's see what else is very common. Um, deployment is common. You know, you have your different stuff here. If you have any, uh, uh, let's see, DNS is another common. IE related stuff is very common. You can see there's a whole bunch of stuff you can add in here, and you can always add it and generalize it. Specialize is where you want to add it if you wanted to do some, you know, Internet Explorer stuff. Um, and or let's see there's some there's just you know partition manager if you want to partition the drive and give it a name and what have you so again you can you, you know the like i said there's just a ton of stuff you can do it depends on how much automation you want to put in here as i said in the beginning and once you're done then you just want to save your answer file so you just click on file and then we're going to go save answer file and we're going to give it a, I'm just going to call it unattend for right now, just because it's an unattend answer file. Uh, you can give it a name if you want to, but I like to leave it um, as is, because it's just easier to do, to do that. So then I'm just going to call it unattend, and I'm going to put it in the um, Windows 10 folder right here. I'm going to save it there. So then what you need to do is once you're done with the answer file, then you can create a script to an image so you can mount an image and add the answer file so you would you would use a dsm to mount your windows image to and then of course you know i can provide a link down below on how to mount your um, mount your modified existing image and then you want to copy the answer file into the windows path folder and name it like unintend.xml that's why i left it the name but it is because normally you want to do that and then you want to create create your directory to mount then you want to copy the um file and then you want to do some so there's steps to how to do that and then once you um can you know do that part then mount the modify the windows image using dim then you want to go ahead and, and uh commit that answer file to that windows image and so that's basically it. So the process would take several minutes to do. So um, again, so again, this is just to kind of show you um, how you create the answer file. So this answer file is already created. Now you can always go back in here and open up the existing image file if you wanted to make more changes or add more changes. Then you'd have to run and mount the DS, DS, using DSDISM um, and commit that Windows image there. So that's basically how you create, and like I said, I've got this right here, and there's the unattend. Now, like I said, I didn't go through all of the settings that you can you can do. As you can see, there's a ton of options. Uh, but that's generally how you create an unattend answer file. So let me know if you have any comments or questions. Uh, I can, I'll can i provide a link from, from Microsoft. Again, the link from Microsoft is kind of old, so it's like there's not a whole lot of current documentation about using this. I don't know if a lot of people are still using the unattend, um, but it is a it is an option. Um, there's nothing wrong with using it. Um, but I think there are a lot of new tools today that uh, like PowerShell, scripting all things in PowerShell, or um, you know using uh, the um, uh, UCD, which is the custom image designer, which is new new, and a lot of people are starting to use that. I'll actually create a video on how to create those packages, but you can also create packages as well in here. Again, if you have, if you want more details, let me know. Um, I can probably go over maybe how the different settings I create, but I just wanted you a very general overview. Uh, again, please let me know if you have any questions. Um, you know, give it a thumbs up if you like this video and um, subscribe. There's gonna be more content coming your way. Again, thanks for watching and have a great day, bye.